my goodness. And, um, you know, just hearing everybody's stories about becoming authentic and remaining authentic. You know, I've realized the older that I get, um, it still doesn't take very much to sort of trigger or throw you back to that place in early childhood, perhaps, or teenage, um, where you remember that kind of sick feeling of not being authentic and, and being afraid. And, you know, even at this point in my life and my career living in this beautiful bubble of New York City, most of the time, it's a beautiful bubble, um, something like seeing the movie Moonlight, you know, on a plane can, can give me dreams and, and, and remember, you know, in sleep, you know, what it felt like to have a bunch of mean girls gather around you and call you names and names that you didn't even understand yet and something they may have picked up on. And I also had that experience recently when my music was used in a TV show, Dance Moms. Um, I used to be a ballerina and it was sort of an odd kind of juxtaposition of escaping being bullied in school and coming on a train from Connecticut to go to School of American Ballet and there being sort of a different kind of meanness and, and bullying. But I could kind of deal with that one because it was based on hard work and determination. <laughs> so when, when kids were mean, I knew it was just competition. Um, but it was also sort of a surreal situation um, because gayness was all around me. Gay men were all around me. Gay men were my best friends. But there were no gay women in ballet, and it, I was very confused. And, you know, just trying to find someone to understand and talk to, and I didn't for many, many, many years. But um, seeing these girls on this TV show, Dance Moms, with these strict teachers, sort of channeling all their emotions into dance, sparked a whole album for me called Choreographic. And this was uh, the single from the album. This is called I Don't Believe It.
could ever have been sucked in. Tell me, tell me I'm not gonna win. I don't believe in. Anymore. I know you never meant to hurt me. I know you only wanted to give me the tools you believed I needed. I know you never meant to hurt me. I know you only.